movie fans, the 8th of July 2017 is the 59th birthday of actor Kevin Bacon, a Golden Globe winner who appeared in his first film in 1978 and whose work is so diverse and wide reaching that it inspired a game titled Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. He has appeared in a number of both cult classics and mainstream hits. Bacon is set to appear in two TV movies due for release this year with Story of a Girl and Tour de Pharmacy. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Kevin Bacon movies. At number 10 is Patriot's Day. Based on the true story of the Boston Marathon bombing in 2013, after the Tsarnaev brothers detonate two homemade bombs at the finish line of the Boston Marathon, a huge manhunt gets underway. Bacon plays Special Agent Richard Delorius, who arrives on the scene. The running time is 133 minutes, and Patriot's Day has the final rating of 7.3 out of 10. At number 9 is Sleepers. When a group of boys are punished for a prank gone wrong by being sent to a detention centre, the boys find themselves subjected to physical and mental abuse. Years later, the group might get a shot at revenge. Bacon plays Sean Noakes, one of the facility's guards. The running time is 157 minutes, and Sleepers has the final rating of 7.4. At number 8 is JFK. When a New Orleans district attorney starts investigating further into the facts of the JFK assassination and starts coming up with his own theory, he comes up against fierce political figures who will attempt to destroy his reputation. Bacon plays Willie O'Keefe, a male prostitute who is questioned. The running time is 189 minutes, and JFK has the viral rating of 7.5. At number 7 is Dinah. Set in Baltimore in 1959, Timothy Fenwick Jr, played by Bacon, is one of a group of 20-somethings who have been friends since childhood and spend a large amount of their time hanging out at their favourite diner, but as they grow up, their lives and friendships change. The running time is 110 minutes, and Dinah has the viral rating of 7.6. At number 6 is A Few Good Men. After falling out of favour with his superiors and fellow Marines, Private William Santiago is murdered. The Marines responsible are court-martialed and the prosecution aims to prove that the order came from higher up. Bacon plays Captain Jack Ross. The running time is 138 minutes and A Few Good Men has the final rating of 7.7. .7. At number 5 is Frost Nixon. This is the retelling of how an interview was organised and executed between British talk show host David Frost and US President Richard Nixon. Taking place after the Watergate scandal, the interview would break one man and make another. Bacon plays Jack Brennan, Nixon's chief of staff. The running time is 122 minutes, and Frost Nixon has the final rating of 7.7. .7. At number 4 is Crazy Stupid Love. When his wife reveals that she wants a divorce, Cal's life falls into a sad and pathetic spiral of moping in bars and talking about his wife to anyone who'll listen. Then he meets Jacob, who decides to dedicate himself to turning Cal into a ladies' man. Bacon plays David Lindhagen, Cal's wife's affair. The running time is 118 minutes, and Crazy Stupid Love has the final rating of 7.7. .7. At number 3 is Apollo 13. With the lives of three astronauts, including Jack Swigert, played by Bacon, hanging in the balance aboard a spacecraft which has suffered critical damage, the team at NASA's Mission Control Center must work together to ensure the men's safe return. The running time is 140 minutes, and Apollo 13 has the final rating of 7.8. At number 2 is Mystic River. In Boston in 1975, three boys, Jimmy, Dave and Sean, are approached by who they believe to be police officers, who take Dave away where he suffers four days of sexual abuse. 25 years later, the boys have drifted apart, Sean, played by Bacon, is a police detective investigating a murder. The running time is 138 minutes, and Mystic River has the final rating of 8.1. At number 1 is X-Men First Class. Acting as a prequel, First Class shows the origins of some mutant favourites from the X-Men universe. Bacon plays powerful mutant Sebastian Shaw, who plots to manipulate world leaders into starting a third world war. It's up to Charles Xavier to put together a group to prevent that from happening. The running time is 132 minutes, 
and X-Men First Class has the viral rating of 8.2. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the Firewall's top 10 Forrest Whitaker movies. Let me know what you think of this list in the comment section below and subscribe for more top 10s and reviews.